Hi, my name is Corey Smith and welcome to Build Your First Quadcopter, Part 3. In this video, we're going to be mounting all of the electronics. So we're going to start by taking all of the ESCs and zip tying them to the frame. If you want, you can use some foam mounting tape to mount the power distribution board. You can also plug in your motors. For now, it doesn't matter which way you plug them in. Now we're going to take the black nylon spacers that came with the frame and some other ones that came from Hobby King and mount those to each side. After that, we can start mounting the flight controller. This is the OpenPilot CC3 from ReadyMade RC. So we're gonna put the spacers on all four sides, top and bottom. The most important thing is not to over tighten them. They should be snug, but they shouldn't be extremely tight. If you over tighten them, you're either gonna break your board or strip your screws. Now we're gonna mount the flight controller board onto the top plate. Make sure this arrow is facing whichever way you want the front of the quad to be. Once you have that done, then you can take all of your ESC wires and then mount the top plate to the frame. And again, do not over tighten these screws. They don't need to be extremely tight, so just use your hands. Also, don't put Loctite on nylon screws or else they'll most likely melt. Now we're going to remove all of the red wires from the ESCs except for one, because the flight controller only needs power from one of the ESCs. Once you remove the red wire, you can just tape it up, but I'm going to use heat shrink just because it looks nicer. After we've done that, we can go ahead and plug the ESCs into the flight controller. We're going to be using pins 1 through 4. So you start with the top left and count 1, 2, 3, 4. And just a side note, the last two pins can be used if you have a hexcopter or a camera gimbal. Now we're going to take the PWM data connector that should have came with your flight controller and then plug that in. One of the last steps is to plug the data wires into the receiver. I usually just start with channel 1 and then keep filling them up from there. It doesn't matter what order the wires go in, as long as all of the colorful ones, which are the data wires, are facing up. After that, we just need to mount the receiver with some foam mounting tape and then figure out what to do with the antenna. In this case, I just put a nylon spacer in the closest place I could find and then zip tied the antenna to it. And now we're done. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video where we'll set up the flight controller. You can also visit myfirstdrone.com and find all of the information on this build. And I'll see you some other time other than right now.